Once you've recorded your audio, you can start editing. But I'd like to pause here a moment. We're going to start getting into the fine details of your DAW. Um, and there's a tendency to move from recording to editing really quickly. But most of the time, if you can just record a couple times and get a really good performance, that's going to be the best policy. It's easy to jump to editing and jump to perfecting their performance, but strive to get a great performance and a great recording from the outset. It actually saves time. You'll find that a bit more, a 10 minutes of practice and another take um, will, you know, compensate for hours and hours of editing and the performance is always going to be better if you do that. So really focus on getting a great performance and move to editing for just kind of fine tuning. But editing is an essential procedure and it is can be a very creative space. Now every time you record you, we actually create two things. We're creating an audio file which lives in the audio files folder and you're creating a region or a clip inside the DAW. And you can think of that region as kind of a window into the sound file. It's a reference to it. And that region has certain parameters unique from the audio file. And I can say I can make that window wider or smaller. I can look at a large portion of the audio file or a small portion of the audio file. That region can access the end of the audio file or the beginning of the audio file. I can have many regions looking at, a, at the same audio file. So we see this kind of disconnect between the two. And remember, the region is something that's in your DAW and the audio file is the actual underlying data that lives on the hard drive in a separate location. The reason this is important because much of the editing you do is to the regions themselves and not to the audio files. And we call this non-destructive editing in that because we're only changing the regions, because we're only changing the references to the audio files and the audio files stay the same, it's all can be undone and we're not really just doing anything destructive to it. Um, it's a great type of editing in that it opens up lots of possibilities and the ability to kind of get back. You're not really hurting any of the underlying data. The first thing we can do to a region is adjust its bounds or trim it. Um, this can be called trimming or edge editing in your DAW and it's one of the most important kind of essential editing tasks you're going to perform. So I'd like you to take a moment and go to your DAW and just figure out how you can efficiently edge edit or change the edges or the bounds or the window size of that region.